okay to be racist As long as you hating on the Caucasians Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists Maybe I'm tripping cause the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys And the high heels who identify as the white women I'm not proud to be white but I'm fine with it cause I'm not allowed to have pride in it What's going on Patriots? I'm back with another Patriot prayer reaction for you and uh You know I, it's been a while since I've done this but I was actually looking for video footage for uh, the podcast. And right there in the suggestion in front of me, I see uh, this Tom McDonald song, Race War. Now, I knew Adam Calhoun and him did an album, uh, but I never got around to listening to the whole thing. Right? I, I, I listened to the American Flag song, and there was one other one I couldn't, I couldn't tell you um, that I had heard since, but I had never heard this one. And it's it, it, it's named Race War. So when you got a song called Race War, and you're Tom McDonald, that, the curiosity is just off the charts. I got to know what the hell he's talking about, because I could come up with so many things in my own right to fill in that gap or that blank. But Tom is uh, Tom, man. He, he does it differently. He's... He's a professor. He, he explains things, and he and he comes at you from a hundred different angles all at once. And uh, you know, Adam Calhoun. Adam Calhoun. He just he's just a strong dude. He's going to tell you what he thinks, and he doesn't give a damn what you think about what he thinks. And and that's what I like about him. I can I can completely relate to it. So uh, we're going to get into this. And uh, before we do, guys, if you like what you hear and you like hanging out with me and uh, you want to hear more? Click that like, follow, subscribe button. Check us out on Rumble as well. Check us out on our locals, TikTok, Twitter. Well, formerly <laughs> X, formerly known as Twitter now. Uh, Facebook, uh, True Social. So uh, we're we're everywhere, guys. The uh, the Patriots prayers have been growing leaps and bounds. Um, not so much on this platform, but uh, I'm getting around to it. Uh, the other platforms uh, we're doing quite well, but this one is uh, always been one that's been kind of a thorn in my side, especially when it comes to the podcast. Uh, so we haven't put too much over here, but you know who knows. Uh, we do a lot of the reaction videos from here, and uh, you know it's just good fun, and and you can get a lot out of these, especially when you're listening to someone like Tom. Because Tom is a, enough content in a two-minute song for a damn two-hour podcast. So, uh, for real, he really does. He really, really does. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. Tom McDonald, Race War. It's okay to be racist. As long as you hating on the Caucasians. Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the... S say what? It's okay to be racist, as long as you hating on the Caucasians, teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe okay. I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys and the high heels who identify as the white women. <laughs> hey, he ain't lying. Listen, my co-host Jerry, he was, he, we were talking the other day, we had both seen a lot of the same things, you know, and doing our research throughout the years. There was a guy dressed up. Uh, sombrero and poncho and the whole bit and he, and he's walking down the street and he's talking every every white person that he stops and he talks to in this town wherever he was he's california somewhere and um and he said uh is it racist that i'm wearing this every damn one of them said yes but when he went into uh a mexican uh up to mexicans and he asked them rather uh you know hey is it racist that i have this on they're like nah we like it like, come on, man. It, it's it's that simple. You know, They if you think that you know the reason why somebody did what they did, you're projecting your thoughts onto that person's heart, and then that's how they make, they jump to all these conclusions about racism and all of these other things because liberals think they know what you're thinking. They think you need a, a governor or something right here to, 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 to make sure you can't think those thoughts, or e even if you do think those thoughts, you can't act them out. 
you know, and then that's where all the virtue signaling on and in the white guilt comes from, uh, from the liberals. It, 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 I, I'll let I'll let Tom explain. I, I I can already see where he's going. Cause you hating on the Caucasians, teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping cause the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it cause I'm not allowed to have pride in it cause the colonizers. Are Listen, man. <laughs> this has been my biggest complaint. I, I can't tell you for how long. Everyone is allowed to have pride in who they are, all right? Damn it, you got Pride Month. You can be proud to be gay. Black History Month, you can be proud to be black. You can be proud to be anything that you are except white. Except white. I can sit here and name accomplishments that white people have made historically built the best nation in history in history detailed the best constitution and created the freest society that has ever existed anywhere ever i said freest understand there were some hiccups along the way because there were some people in the way of allowing that document to be the law of the land. Those were individuals. That was not the heart of the country. That's why it kept changing and getting better. The Reformation happened. The Civil War took place. The Revolutionary War took place. You know, we had the Civil Rights Movement. Right? But here's the thing. And I, I say this all the time. The, the, the Constitution was enough. The Constitution was enough. You didn't need a separate document, a separate law or bill to protect somebody for the color of their skin. All men are created equal and get our rights endowed to us from our maker, from God. Not from a man, from God. I don't see why you would need to add to that or take away from that. But then in my own research, I found out exactly what truly happened. LBJ made the statement. He had to give everybody something so they felt like they won. And then over the next few decades, what we saw was that that hang that that leftover effect from the previous generations, 40s, 50s, 60s, bleeding into the 70s, 80s, and then to the 90s. You saw a lot of that, what what that true racism, that 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 kind of hatred and Everything people had felt and argued over and fought over for years, you saw it subside. We all grew up in multicultural, multicolor communities, and hell, I, I, I dare anyone to show me a, 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 a true extended family portrait that doesn't ha that doesn't look diff ten different shades of gray. Like no nobody today is is gonna sit there and say that there's the kind of racism that we're fighting against the same racism that they fought against in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and further back. Because if you really believe that, you're just trying to cause a problem. You're, it, it, that's your intention. Your intention is chaos. Your intention is to destroy. Your intention is supremacy. That's what your intention is. That's why I think that they love to label people supremacists because it's liberal supremacy that they're actually pushing. So, back to it. And rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white bigots make white history my business. I ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me. I'm gonna trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Bite me. When I was younger, they taught me to never see color to treat every man as if he was my brother. But now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle to suffer. They coming for blood and we run it for cover. The government wants us divided and dumb or addicted and drunk in the gutter so we never wake up and never recover. That's right. That's right. If they can keep you addicted to anything, they will. And then did you know that they could take away your Second Amendment right if you just went and got an antidepressant? So if you're on antidepressants, if you need help, if you're sad or depressed and you go to your doctor for it, that they can actually come to your house and, and, and take away your guns. They do this. They ask the question. In fact, when you apply 
for the gun permit. And they even go as far as to ask questions as to whether or not you're, uh, if you have or have ever been addicted to uh, drugs. This is why Hunter Biden's caught up right now, right? Uh, he lied at the time he was addicted to drugs when he went and got the damn gun. But I can tell you this, as, as a Second Amendment absolutist and a free speech absolutist, and I would never defend uh, Hunter Biden because it asks as to whether or not he lied on the form. Yes, he did. And if lying on the form is the law to which he broke, he's guilty of it. However, the Second Amendment does truly say that there shall be no law, no law created to infringe upon your right to bear arms. No law. No. N O no. So you got to remember what the Second Amendment was there for. The Second Amendment was there to make sure that if the government should ever turn tyrannical and turn against its own people, which is the reason why this country was made to begin with, right? We wanted to come here to practice religious freedom and escape a tyrannical king who overtaxed the people, put too much burden on their back. And, and now here we are in the same situation a couple of hundred years later where we have created the very thing that we've ran away from. It's pretty sick when you, when you look at uh, these things and see how much they actually don't even follow the document they're swore to uphold. So when, when it, what I'm getting at is that, you know, they shouldn't be able to ask as to whether or not you've ever been addicted to something. Now, whether or not you're currently addicted, that's a different issue, right? You probably shouldn't have a firearm on your person if you're addicted to meth or crack and you're out there robbing people with a gun or that sort of thing. If you've committed a violent act with a gun, go, well, damn it, you probably, that's about the only time I would say, you know what, you might want to take homeboy's gun rights away. That's the only time, because you blew them at that point. But what they've done is they've created so many ways and so many reasons for them to come take your guns. You can almost guarantee that most people have at least one or two of those boxes on that on that form that they have that if they were being honest, they'd check. And if they were being honest, they probably wouldn't qualify to have the gun that they're trying to get. And that's their goal. That's their goal. So back to it. See, Tom does this all the time. He does this all. The, he's such a. Tr <laughs> he said he's. I don't even want to repeat the damn thing he just said. But listen. Call me a wigger and label me label me Hitler, and talk like I'm uh, and label me like I'm wearing a Klan hood. <laughs> this dude's crazy as hell. I would love to have you on the podcast, Tom. Adam, be with him, please. <laughs> please, <laughs> this would be amazing. To have the kind of outspoken people that would absolutely compliment my personality like that. I, I, I mean, we'd have a great time. Uh, an absolute amazing time. You guys are just killer, brother. I, I, I applaud every damn thing you're doing and why you're doing it. I know people are out there trying to misconstrue your intentions and call you all sorts of racists and Whatever else, I guarantee, I see the hate in the comments on other videos and things that you put out throughout the years, but, you know, these people are brainwashed, and, and you even said it yourself, I think you made this song called Brainwashed, and they are, they're 100% brainwashed, but I just want to say thank you for creating amazing content and saying the things that we're all thinking and championing the cause, yeah, I appreciate it so much, keep it up. That's it. You were never on a plantation and my generation was never there. We were born into this world. 
as individuals. I don't understand why liberals hate that term so much. Individuals. I'm Eddie. I'm not white Eddie. I'm not anything Eddie. I'm, I'm Eddie. That's what I am. You are the sum of who you are. Your character, your values, your ethics, your integrity. That's who you are. Those things make you up. A man is as good as his word. There's a lot of things that go into the DNA of a man, of a human, right? Woman too. But I guarantee you, none of who you are stems, truly stems, from the color of your skin. It's a social construct. If they tell you that it does, and then you believe it, and then you make decisions based on that lie, then of course... That's exactly what you would think. You would think that you're the sum of the color of your skin. You would believe that people who are different from you don't like you just because you're different from them. But when you act in hatred and you constantly call it out and you throw that racist word around willy-nilly, what's really happening is that you're the racist. You're the one being racist. That's the reality of it. So, I, I, as like I said, I applaud everything these guys are doing and they just they keep it up. I'm embarrassed. Some of y'all are such parents. That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents. Get that poison out your veins. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives matter more. Whoa. See, I felt the same way as he felt when he said these things in previous songs. Uh, to say black lives matter or white lives matter or blue lives matter or any of those things uh, as they relate to any one uh, uh, group of people, right? If you're saying them as, to make it as, as just an absolute or like a factual statement, then fine. Yeah, black lives do matter. White lives do matter. All lives matter. Right, it, that's a fact. But to say that no lives matter unless black lives, all that other weird stuff, that is racist in every way, shape, or form. You don't win, we don't win, nobody wins while there's division. Nobody wins. Nobody. You want to know why you're oppressed? You want to know why the government can trick you and play games on you and control you and keep you poor or whatever it is you think that they're doing? Do you, do you want to know why the, your communities are so violent and there's not as much opportunity as there should be and you're not learning and your schools aren't built to the level that they are? Because the, the liberals keep you down. The liberals hold you down. The last thing they want, the last thing they want is for you to be able to stand on your own two feet because the moment that you do, you don't need them. And they know it. They know it. I think even Malcolm X uh, gave several speeches about the uh, beware the white liberal for all the same reasons. He's a, he's a snake. He's a sheep, a wolf in sheep's clothing. They pretend to be your friends, but they're vultures, your pawns in their game. It's true. Go look it up. Malcolm X was, you know, he said some pretty profound things. You would think, oh, how? Why in the hell would this person be talking good about Malcolm X? The truth is the truth, people. Hell, Candace Cameron talked about the fatherless, fatherless rate in the uh, black community and how it related to the culture and how it, how it, how it has uh, evolved or devolved from the 70s until current day. Everyone called her a racist for doing it, but they didn't call Farrakhan a racist when he said the same damn thing. They didn't call Obama a racist when he said the same thing. But it was only racist when Candace Owens said it said the same exact thing it's just a fact a facts aren't racist or anything they're just facts plain and simple the intention behind using those facts sometimes can be a little more uh nefarious ignorant if you will um but once again then you're getting into judging what you think other people are thinking and where they're coming from you think you can judge or see someone's heart and what's in it and why they may why they may be saying what they're saying that's why liberals are so quick to call people racist, but they're they're they have no damn clue. 
They have no clue. They convict people of what, what did George Orwell call them thought crimes. Thought crimes. Real talk. Before you 25 get shot over your shoes You gon' get killed by police Even when you follow the rules If you listen to the news You gon' believe all this is true <sighs> Adam, Adam, Adam <laughs> He said hey, You're gonna get shot or killed By following the rules That's what they're told people this is what the inner city youth are told. The cops are going to hate you because of the color of your skin. You're automatically guilty. And you don't have to do anything. You can do everything right and it don't matter. Never heard such bullshit in my life. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's bullshit. People are not <clears throat> disliking people because or, or targeting people uh provably so by the color of their skin in certain areas what it is is that there are certain areas that are the more impoverished areas have more police encounters because there's more crime in those areas imagine that so when you look at the stats at the encounters of uh, that police have with people in the inner city um, and, and in just, or if you go by race or whatever the case may be, you'll see that it's, it's more than two and a half times that the white, uh, uh, whites are killed by police in shootings and whatever, um, uh, then, then there are blacks, but then they twist those numbers around as well. And, and then try to make it sound like it happens more often per capita if you're black and, and these sorts of things. I don't buy any of it. Less than 1% of the people that get shot in bad shootings in the inner city are police. Less than 1%. But the loudest crying and screaming we hear from people on that side of the ticket that use these misuse, uh, dis or misinformation to try to trick people into hating one another, use these false stats to try to get you to hate someone for being white, to get you on their side, to make you militant. To make you believe that the system is geared against you, which it is, but it's not geared against you because you're black or because you're white or because you're Mexican or Asian or whatever the case may be. It's geared against you because there is a culture of people in power that look down on you and they want to make sure they have, they retain power and they don't, they don't, they are not any one particular race or color. They're all colors and all races, and they're all over the world. They're not just in our government. They're everywhere. And they want to make sure the only way that they can keep the power that they have is to stand on the backs of victims to make themselves a little taller. So if they have to point out, hey, look what they're doing to you. They're doing this to you because of X, Y, Z, and I will make sure they don't do that to you. And then you vote these dumbasses in office, and they do nothing. They do nothing except for cause more division and tell more lies based on more false stats. It, it's really ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Hold up. Let me back it up. Before you 25 get shot over your shoes, you gon' get killed by police even when you follow the rules. If you listen to the news, you gon' believe all this is true. can't make it past two three bars it's crazy it's crazy I, I i don't feel any of this white guilt stuff either zero zero completely zero and i could sit here and tell you a million reasons why but the people who know know and that's all that that's all that matters See, the idea that I have to convince you because I'm white, that I have to convince you that I'm not racist, that's bullshit too. I don't feel the need to have to convince anybody anything about who or what I am or how I feel. I don't give a damn what you think I think. 
to be quite honest with you. God knows. My family knows. My friends know. But I don't feel the need to have to convince anyone else. I really don't. I don't care what most people think. I think most people are, are idiots. Most. Most. 39% of the people in the United States right now poll favorably for Joe Biden. That's how many people are idiots. Just absolute idiots. How the hell can you see somebody that shakes hands with nobody, has topless trans parties at the White House, on the White House lawn, mails his constituents crack pipes, and has cocaine found in the White House, creates 20 fake companies to, to, to shift money to him and his family, lies about it, and then goes on TV and brags about how he withheld security money from another country to make them fire a prosecutor that was looking into the sum, uh, company that was paying his son enormous sums of money, which he was splitting with dad. You people are idiots. Idiots. So, I mean, this, is, this shapes the way that I feel about people. I will give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll sit down and talk to anybody. But I can tell you this. Most people don't care to know. Most people don't care to know the facts, uh, what's really going on, why it's really going on, what the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the amendments actually say, what the country's supposed to actually be like and why. They don't know. They don't care. They care about themselves. They're selfish. We live in a selfish generation, an absolute selfish generation. But this white guilt thing is just one of those things that it's never, I've done nothing to which I should feel guilty for. This was done in generations prior to mine. I don't feel that anyone today is suffering the consequences of anything that took place 300 years ago. Because I can tell you this much. I started with zero dollars on more than one occasion. But I came into this world into a family that was extremely poor. Dad is 100% Native American. Mom's German and Irish. So I'm not like eighth Cherokee type of stuff that people try to claim. Um, literally my dad is, and my dad is a pure blood native American. So I, I never put that on one single form whenever I fill out anything. I don't want, I'm not owed anything. The government owes me nothing. I don't need any grants or loans or things like that based on my race. That's crazy. I'm an individual. And as such, I get what I earn. I'm owed what I've earned. and But here's the thing, though. Here's the caveat. Once I've earned it, it's mine. The thing that I do mind is when the government takes the dollar that I have in my pocket and they spend so much of it out the other end that my dollar is worth a quarter. I do care about that. But I don't care about your class warfare and group think in your division. I don't give a damn about it. Then when you follow the rules, if you listen to the news, you're going to believe all this is true. He did just he just did just nail a lot of this right on the head. He hit the nail on the head with that. A lot of these white liberal commie pussies scared just scared as hell. Uh they find it easier just to go along to get along. I'm I'm with the movement too, guys. Chicken shit. But that's that's who they are. That's exactly who they are. And and <laughs> he nailed it. I mean, it, this is this is the sum of what he's saying. Listen to what Adam says. That's not me. I'm not one of these white liberal commies who think black America needs allies in their army. Who thinks black America needs allies in their army? Why? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you need to think that a specific race of people needs allies in their army? And you're a commie. First of all, I don't think that that represents. Nowhere near all the black people. I had too many black conservative friends and people that are waking up now. I just think that the media zooms their cameras in on a small group of people and makes you think 
that there are more of them than there actually are. They they play these games constantly. But yeah, I mean, but these liberals and these commies, socialists, Marxists, fascists, all of them, they they tend to think that this is you know, I'm going to get with the movement to so where everyone likes me. And then if I can catch someone saying something that I can construe as racist or sexist or bigotist in any way, then I get I get I get 50 virtue signaling points. That's what happens. I, I, I you know, I, my little social score goes up <laughs> just for calling somebody else a racist. I get 50 points. Did you hear that? I called him a racist. <laughs> You're a dumbass. Here. Me, your neighborhood's all dead and claim you pro-black, but you faking guys are dying on the pavement. All your hashtags won't save them, that ain't gangsta. People begging for their life still. I know white people who can't afford to pay their light bill. Who might feel like they the ones who losing their life. When the worst thing you could be is not ashamed to be white. Yep. White privilege is a system they position for division. If you black, you go to prison. If you white, your life is different. Take some more. Let me, let me address that. He said if you're black, you go to prison. If you're white, your life is different. I come from Baltimore City, the city, the real actual inside the city, not around it, not outside in this ville or that ville or no, 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 Baltimore City, 21221, right? So when when he's talking about these things, you got to understand that I, I've been in a, in a family as a long line of people that never experienced any of this white privilege that people talk about uh, I myself in my younger days I got in trouble house good job car family everything come day come that day to get sentenced see ya few years down the drain come time for parole pastor writes a letter for me my job writes a letter for me I was supposed to come home. I figured there's no way in hell I'm not going to get parole. I got every. I even own my own house. Everything's waiting for me. I got my life back. Parole board said no. It's the opposite, people. It's the opposite. The way things have flipped around now, uh, you, you'll notice and you'll see people that don't get tried for crimes that they commit even while right on TV doing it. While Dave Chappelle was on stage doing a stand-up, a guy jumped on stage with a knife and, and tried to get him with a knife. He basically, he committed attempted murder right there for everyone to see. He was out in a few days or later that night. He never got charged with attempted murder. And I, and I, and I hate to say this, and I, and I don't say it to be racist or anything like this. But if that man were a white conservative, he would have never saw the streets that night. He would have never saw the streets for a very long time. And that attempted murder charge that should have been there regardless would have definitely been there if he was a Trump voter. If he'd have jumped on that stage with that knife wearing a MAGA hat, you, he, <laughs> he'd be in commissary right now. That's the, that's the truth. That is the absolute truth. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives matter more. Whoa. I won't be dying in the race for a government is paid for because our lives matter more. Whoa. They want us in a race war, dying in the streets should be us against them, but it's you against me. Nobody gonna win, everybody gonna see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed. That's right. I swear they want us in a race for
There it is. Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun. Hit another one out of the park. Saying everything you and I are thinking. And, and we just applaud him for doing it. Great artists saying great things, and they're going to go far. Uh, but people, don't think for a second they're, they're not in danger of being canceled, that their free speech is absolute, and that they can't be silenced. Remember, they, they uh, kicked the president off Twitter. They can silence you if they want to. I face the algorithm all the time. They try it. I, I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but I've fought these battles already. Uh, and, and Tom and these guys need the help of people like you that are willing to go to his channel, click his music, buy his music, and support his cause. Because his cause is your cause. Don't get it twisted. His cause is your cause. It's the American cause. It's the cause for freedom. It's the cause for individuality. Right? So... Guys, continue to support him, and if you want to support this channel, do me the favor, click that like, follow, subscribe button. We appreciate you very much, guys. We'll see you next time. And just so you know, because that's how I sign off every damn time. The silent majority, you need to stop being silent and stand your ground. We'll see you next time on the Patriot Prayer Reaction. You guys, have a great one.